overview, and then there is so much information out there. If you need help getting information, we can help you. Uh, but we are in the information age, and uh, there's no reason for you not to have help with your marriage and with your relationships. It's, it's too easy to find. Um, we also wanted to talk about crazy respect. This is something that a few years, maybe four or five years ago, someone gave me the book Love and Respect. Um, and it really kind of rocked my thinking and my way of loving my husband. Um, the book talks about that women need love, but men need respect. And I had never thought of it that way. I wanted to show my love to him the way that I thought, the way that I needed love. And that is not the way men receive love. They receive love through respect. And it even has, uh, it's even in the Bible. <laughs> in Ephesians 5.33, Paul says, Nonetheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself. So he's telling the husband, love your wife. But then it says, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. I think it's so incredible that the book just came out a few years ago, but the Bible's been here all along telling us the husband needs to love his wife, but the wife needs to respect the husband. And, you know, um, so many times you're, you're trying to help, you know, your husband and give him some constructive criticism. Um, but he really needs, at the end of the day, to know that you respect who he is, you respect the man that he is. Your children need to know that you think their daddy's the best thing, or they don't respect him. Um, we, we were talking about this yesterday, and uh, I was driving down the road, and the, the, it's so cool that um, Jen and I are able to do this because it just creates just a lot of discussion. And uh, it, it's, it's amazing what you were saying in that it seems like our society has changed you know, in, in the roles. And as a result of that, how did you say that? It was, we were talking about how the, how the men seem to be, not this is in, 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 you know, across the board, but, but women now are working more than they ever have, and sometimes are making more money than the man. Some men are staying home. I remember I was a stay-at-home dad. I was Mr. Mom for a while. And, um, and, and the effect that that has, I think there was probably an inherent respect for the husband years ago because he was the one out making the money and the wife was home keeping the kids, which seemed like a lesser, you know, less important job, although paramount importance. Um, but I think today, as the women have become more equal, and that's a good thing in a lot of ways, um, we've lost that... Um, respect that women once had that that was just naturally there in the marriage you know and, and, and we talk about this also man we can just stay on this point the whole time and we really can't because there's about four others and there's some other clips that you just can't wait to see i promise you but there's there's a lot of uh, talk also i've had conversation with with some of the leaders and men in, in my life where where men the way that they're acting today is kind of like having lost it's like the woman, the women don't respect the man because all he's doing is playing video games. Or, or he's not being that man. He's not being that worthy of that respect. And so there's so many facets to this. But I think the point that, that we're wanting just to drive home right now is, ladies, it's in the Bible. Men, it's in the Bible. We, we love our wives. And wives, you pray about the importance of showing respect to men. And, and this can't be something the man stands up and says, respect me! Well, you definitely give her something worth respecting. But understand that that's, that's one of the ways that we are wired differently. You know, and... and it's, all, uh, it's all about words. It's all about our words. And um, I, I just have really tried to purposefully change the way I talk to him when I'm giving him a constructive criticism because I do that. Um, but also to follow it up with, but maybe you're just, you're an incredible dad, or you're an incredible pastor, and I'm so thankful, you know, for who you are, um, because respectful words energize a man, 